Hello and welcome to this Adobe After Effects certification preparation series of videos. I'm Luisa Winters. Today is February 14th, 2023. And the reason why I'm telling you the date is because things move rather quickly and I want you to know the date of today so that you know that if things change in the future, that I was referring to what was current at this moment in time. So there's a couple of things that I need you to do before we get started. And the first one is to download the exercise file. Technically speaking, you don't really have to do that, but it would be good because then you and I would be working with the same exercise files. And you can find these here in my Google Drive. There's the URL and uh, also a copy of all of the slides that I'm using will be in there as a PDF. So this would be like your handbook, manual, whatever you want to call it. Again, hey, this is February 2023. So if you're watching this in, I don't know, 2033 or whatever it is, and the files are not there, yeah, I know. I'm not promising I will leave those files in there forever, but for a while I will, and you will be able to download them. If by any reason you're watching these videos and you're not able to download these files, that's okay. You can follow along with your own file. Now, the next thing that I need you to do is to download the exam objective. These are not my exam objectives, these are Certiports. So the test is being administered and managed by Certiport. That's part of Pearson View. So if you go to this URL, or quite frankly, just go to Certiports website, download the exam objective for After Effects. This is for the test for After Effects 2021. I am sure they will be releasing the one for 2022, 2023, and subsequent ones fairly soon. But, uh, you know, just go to the Certiport website, download the objectives, and follow them like I am going to do in these series of videos. Now, the next thing that I need you to know are the target candidate prerequisites. In other words, in order for you to be able to take this test, you need to have 150 hours of experience in After Effects. You need to be familiar with the product features and capabilities, you need to be familiar with relevant career concepts. You need to be self-sufficient, able to apply knowledge of video composition and all the other things that you see listed in here. So I'm not really going to read all of these for you, but all of these are taken directly from that document that I asked you to download from Certiport's website. So if this changes in the future, when you download that document, hey, you'll have the prerequisites for the target candidate right there in that document. Now, the next thing that I need you to know before we get started is what to expect from the test. Again, February 2023, so things do change, all right? So here we go. This is current as of right now. You're going to have different sections on the test. In fact, you're going to have a tutorial. Then you're going to have questions in which it's going to be like um, multiple choice, put in order, you know, to click on the correct area, et cetera, et cetera. And then you're going to have another tutorial and then you will be in After Effects. You're going to be presented with a panel that is going to give you instructions on what to do create a new composition, import this file, create this uh, uh, keyframe, et cetera, et cetera. So make sure that you read the tutorials carefully and then go ahead and do the exam. Basically, the first section is going to look kind of like this. You will have an area where you have uh, the, what question you're on, then the timer. Yes, these exams are timed. You can reset the question and you can see in here there's an answer area in which you just click and drag things to put them where they need to be. Then you have a button for back, one for help, you can mark for review, you can leave feedback, you have a summary, and then you can go to the next question. 
then you're going to see a summary of that section with the questions that you had and then which ones you marked for review. After you're done, submit the section and then the new section starts. Well, a little tutorial and then the new section starts. And in here is where you actually work in After Effects. Then you're going to have a task panel right here that will just tell you what to do. And that's how it works. It's going to have, uh, you know, the After Effects app. So you're not working in a simulation. You're working in the actual app. Then the task is going to tell you what to do. You can go back. You can go next. You can resize this. You can reset the task. But be careful with this one because the task may have several different things that you have to do. And if you reset the task, you're resetting everything. So be careful with that and don't really reset unless you really have to. All right. So it's actually fairly um, self-explanatory. A couple of things to keep in mind is that, you know, you can mark for review, you can have a summary and you can, you know, go to help, you can go back. And the same as in the previous section, you're going to have the task number. Then you're also going to have the timer. The next thing is this. Some of the tasks are going to ask you to name things in a particular way. These things in the task panel will be underlined. See this word background right here, how it's underlined. If you want to copy it, all you have to do is click it and then that copies it. Hey, listen, I'm sure you can type the word background, but if you don't name it exactly that, say you made a typo because you're nervous, you were running out of time, whatever it is, and you didn't quite type the word background, maybe you typed it with a lowercase b. It's marked wrong because you didn't name it correctly. So quite frankly, copy paste, and then you are sure to name things properly. Always, always. So, you know, I'm just saying. All right. Once you're done with that section, then same thing. You're going to see a summary. You can go back to the tasks that you marked for review. And after you're done with all of that, you can click on finish section. Then you're going to see, and you're going to see another panel where you can give Certiport feedback. All right. So you can just uh, leave feedback about the exam. And once you're done, boom, finish the section and you immediately get the score. So you're going to know right away if you passed or not. So, you know, anyway, that is what you need to know before, definitely before taking the test and before watching the rest of these videos. <laughs> Thanks for watching. See you on the next video.